Good morning, Stephen Bernoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, I need to get back into covering some of these news stories that are going on. There's so many things happening around the world, and Ukraine is no stranger to this theater of war that's taken place. A second uh, Russian AWACS plane has been taken down, and of course, uh, the news stories are still saying Ukraine is the one able to take these down. Well, I can tell you straight up, Ukraine is not able to take down uh, an AWACS plane for Russia without the help of NATO. And that, though, may very much be what's coming up next on the uh, horizon, as we've got different articles already starting to come out that NATO and the EU, sta EU states considering sending troops to Ukraine. Well, we've got troops in Ukraine, and uh, uh, Germany has troops in Ukraine. There's a lot of troops in Ukraine, but of course, they go in there under private contractors. Therefore, technically, they could say, we're not really at war with Russia. But now it's stepping up a notch. According to the Telegraph here, this article right here with uh, Macron and also the, uh, the, the prime minister there of, um, of Slovakia there states here, the prime minister of Slovakia has claimed that NATO and EU member states are preparing to deploy troops to Ukraine. Robert Fico, a pro-Russian populist, offered no details on how Western soldiers could be sent to assist Ukraine, and commentators said he was probably just trying to stir up trouble. He was speaking ahead of a hastily arranged meeting of the European leaders in Paris because of what his advisors say is an escalation of the Russian aggression over the past few weeks. The meetings imply that a member of NATO and the EU member states are considering that they will send their troops to Ukraine on a bilateral basis. Mr. Fico told a televised briefing following a meeting of Slovakia's Security Council. Uh, I cannot say for what purpose and what they should be doing there, he said, adding that Slovakia, a member of the EU and NATO, would not be sending soldiers to Ukraine. Well, even over on Twitter, uh, Robert Kennedy uh, weigh, weighing in, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, before I get to Twitter there, uh, let's see, this here on Politico, so Slovak Prime Minister says EU, NATO, members weighing, sending troops to Ukraine. So he is definitely letting the cat out of the bag, uh, letting us know what's coming next. And if you recall, a little while back, we talked about how that Poland would enter into this conflict. NATO and the United States have been sending so much military equipment into Poland that they are now the fifth largest military power in the world. And uh, although they don't have the manpower, the resources to be able to man all this equipment, we've still made them the largest, fifth largest in the world. And they are poised to set to go against Russia and enter into this Ukrainian theater there. And if they do that, then what will actually take place? What's going to be the purpose? Well, Poland desires to annex Western Ukraine. And now the Ukraine has been blown to smithereens by Russian forces there. Uh, it's making it much easier. The Ukraine is going to be for whoever decides they want to enter into the conflict, push Russia out, and then to take over that part of this, uh, this country. And then I saw this post by Robert Kennedy Jr. The CIA was building spy bases in Ukraine along the Russian border starting in 2014. I wonder how we would respond if Russia or China built spy bases on the U.S.-Mexican border. Well, Mr. Kennedy, China, you should already know, has plenty of spying operations going on in our northern border. And for all those politicians that caved in and went against Trump, and not that I'm a pro-Trump supporter, but went against him during the uh, the last election. Just remember, the Chinese have plenty of their, uh, their claws into the Mexican cartel and knew just exactly what politicians were getting kickbacks as they laundered money across the United States there back in the 80s and 90s. Their families and former family members, things of that nature there. Very interesting how that happens. So, uh, moving right along as well, uh, this one here, opposing genocide in Gaza, U.S. Air Force soldier live streams self-immolation in front of Israeli embassy. That was very, very sad situation. But you know, when I saw that, I could not help but think of some other cases of this taking place. And before I play that, this here, I'll just play a little clip of this right here. That It's not going to be the actual video but uh, you will see, as far as I know, some of his the images of this airman that uh, goes out there, sets itself on fire in Washington, D.C., in front of the Israeli embassy, 
uh, you know, protesting the Gaza war. Well, that does seem pretty extreme. But then again, you got to keep in mind that uh, this young man here may very well be a victim of skull to brain technology. One of the things that I shared with you guys some years ago in multiple different videos that I have done uh, speaks about how that uh, uh, skull to brain technology was used down in uh, Egypt to be able to get this whole campaign kicked off. Uh, I guess, oh gosh, what was that? That's been at least about 10 years ago. Uh, the situation in Washington, D.C., where another uh, where a black man set himself ablaze uh, in front of the, uh, the the National Mall there, and that also is no it was no doubt as I was told by Washington Insider there it was being used to try to escalate tensions between the races in the United States, and I'll just share with you some of these things here. This was the black man right here, and I was told specifically, and it is graphic because he is on fire in the next video, so just keep that in mind. It is a graphic. Graph, not video, but a graphic photo there. That man had set himself ablaze right there uh, at the uh, Washington Mall there in Washington, D.C. And, you know, so all kinds of crazy things are going on. This was the one down in Egypt where the man burns himself alive in protest. Uh, and I don't know, this is actually not even the one that I was thinking about. There was another one that happened there. Uh, where the guy set himself on on fire, and that's what ignited the, uh, the 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 overthrowing of the Egyptian government. You know, all of this done by skull to brain technology. So could it be, could it be that this young man here uh, that uh, set himself on fire in front of the Israeli embassy, could it be that that's exactly what he was doing himself? That he was actually setting himself on fire in protest uh, that he was actually a victim of skull to brain technology. No way of knowing for sure, but the sad thing is the man lost his life as a result. Uh, you know, and it is a true tragedy what has happened. More than 12,000 children have now died. I think some 27,000 people have been killed by Israel in this conflict with Gaza. And uh, it has become a a, a a, a death toll of genocidal proportion. Uh, you, there's just no way of going around that. You just, you know, it just has to be that way. Also, too, I wanted to bring up this particular uh, image here as well. This was uh, the uh, the young lady that died in this, Lisa Lopez. Uh, she was a Kansas City radio DJ, uh, very outspoken uh, young lady there. I say young lady, she was, that's a younger picture of her there. Uh, but this shooting that took place at this parade, the, the celebration parade, uh, I believe is really in response to uh, them trying to get protests going in this country. And uh, there were, uh, I think there were half the victims of this shooting, and there's quite a few victims. I, I forget exactly how many, but uh, 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 most, half of them were under the age of 16 years old that were shot during this thing, uh, but it was Miss Lopez that actually lost her life. I think she's 42 years old. Uh, and so just keep that in mind. Be vigilant. More things could come in this country at different places. We just don't know where or why or anything like that. Uh, also, here in February, we're supposed to have a massive heat wave come across the country here. Uh, temperatures soaring in many places, 20 to 40 degrees higher than normal. Uh, so there you go right there showing you how that's going to be looking there. That's pretty uh, crazy. Kind of like what we saw in China, that one place I showed you a few days ago there where the ducks were all frozen. Water still in motion, just frozen because of a massive 40-something degree temperature drop to minus 62 degrees in China. Killed all those ducks. And, uh, and literally, you can that had to be a very rapid drop, not, a, not just a 24-hour drop. I'm talking like an hour or so. Uh, because you can still see the motion of the water in play when those ducks all died. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for your support of this broadcast here. Don't forget, with all these crazy things going on, empshield.com uh, and use your coupon code INL50. 
Uh, that'll get you a discount on there. And, uh, you know, and, and if you definitely for your health uh, situation there, I'm actually wearing one of these patches right now from LifeWave. If you, if you, that's a good way to support this ministry as well. But the more important thing is supporting your own health. Uh, we had just the other day, Dr. Uh, Tesla on with us and Dr. Tesla or Tesla, Dr. Tesla, he clearly shared with us there that the, he said, when you go to a chiropractor or if you go, even the vets are now starting to using bio uh, photomodulation therapy. Uh, if you're sitting in an infrared sauna, you're using the infrared lights <clears throat> to be able to, to detox. Uh, if you're going to the laser therapy at the chiropractor, that laser therapy is doing exactly that. He said that little patch that LifeWay puts out uh, called X39, he said that stimulates your stem cells. And he said, as he looked at all of these uh, patents on this that David Schmidt done, he said this technology is superior to even what they're offering in the medical world. Uh, he said it's an amazing product. Look, so lifewave.com forward slash Benoon. It doesn't heal you, but it stimulates your stem cells. And we've shared with you guys some of the testimonies on that. Uh, you know, look, if, if you want to support the ministry, help yourself. And at the same time, you're supporting the work we do here. I, I would rather you do that. I'd rather you spend some money on yourself, help yourself get better. Uh, uh, but again, EMP Shield as well. Never know what's going to be going on on that issue there. So if you decide to go in there, and I'm just wanting to so you can see this real quick. INL 50, once you choose what you're looking for, let's say it's for your house there, you're looking for the protection, your solar panels. Uh, I've got friends that have it on everything, and there you go. It's right there on the solar panel there. When you add that to your cart, you go to checkout, always include that coupon code, INL right there, INL 50. You can see it there on your screen. When you apply that coupon, they're going to give you a $50 discount. So not only are you going to save money, but you're also, they're going to donate a little portion to us as well. And so we appreciate that. And it's just good ways to support yourself as well as the work that we do here. Thank you and God bless you.